Hey guys, I have a quick review for y'all today on the Rapsol full body insula um, installation. This is the dry install, and this was given to me and installed at Macworld 2011. Um, I do actually have a um, installation video coming for this as well, so if you guys want to see that, um, stay tuned. So anyways, let's get into the review. The Rapsol dry installation covers the front, back, and sides of your eye device. Um, for here we have, uh, for this video we have an iPhone 4, which is totally covered. Um, when you first install it, I noticed I had a couple bubbles on the back, but not anymore. Uh, they all went away after about 24 hours. I didn't wash it off or anything, sorry about that. But as you guys can see, there are no bubbles at all on the back front. There's only one on the side, which is because there's a piece of dust. But this was installed at Macworld, so you can't really expect that there's going to be a dust-free install. I mean, if you guys can see, there's a little piece down right there, but that's it. So, I mean, you guys can't expect much. It was installed in an expo, but there's dust falling like crazy. So anyway, this phone, this um, shield is also very grippy. It's nice because it, um, you know, it still feels like the normal iPhone, but it adds a little bit more grip, so it doesn't fall out of your hand. And it also sticks to glass, which is kind of cool, just like the Zag Invisible Shield does. Uh, I can compare this a lot to the Zag Invisible Shield, except you don't have to use any um, liquid, which is very nice. So, you know, if, so if you know you're kind of paranoid like I am about installing a full body shield um, and possibly getting something in your uh, speaker, microphone, 30 pin or your 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, etc. Um, this will be great because then you know you don't have to worry about it. And it's also a very, um, it's not like your normal screen shield, it's not an adhesive but it, it feels a little bit more like jelly-ish but it feels a lot nicer. Um, this is a very durable shield as well you know, you're um, you're not going to get that many scratches on it, it'll just, you know, uh, it's a very forgiving material, so if you kind of put a little fingerprint, you can kind of actually rub it out, which is nice. I don't know if you guys see that down there. The only problem I do have with it, though, is that it kind of stains. If you guys can see this, let me zoom in, bring my phone up closer to the camera. So you guys can see there's a little, like, line right there of paint. This when I accidentally rub my phone, or like, I hit my phone against a wall at school when I was using it. Um... Not a big deal, it didn't scratch the phone, just kind of got a little bit of the paint on the screen shield. Which, you know, it's my fault, but really, that really shouldn't happen, so that's just what I think. But, um, you know, you have full access to your touch screen on all your ports, even when you're using the sides. The sides are nice, it covers up basically your whole device, but you have a cutout for your buttons, uh, all ports, and you also have one for your SIM card tray, which I think there should be an option for that. I'm not sure if there is or not, because I was at the show when they gave this to me when I was at Macworld. But um, it's kind of annoying, just because I don't really think it needs to be there, because how many times do you switch your micro SIM on your device? But not a big deal. I can live with that. I think we all can. But um, that's just one thing to point out. And I'll see you all in my next video. Thanks, guys. Bye.